Fox this game as well. Like, Adi is much one of those stand around eventually up smashes. <laughs> while, like, a character like Light is like, a player like Light is just combos. But here we go. Wario um, from Rishi. Um, I honestly thought he was a Pichu. Uh, yeah, I, he recently picked up Wario. I know that for the Monday bracket, uh, Monday brackets come through, uh, is that he was playing Wario all of that. So, oh, really? Yeah. So how's this Wario looking? It looks like it's cooking right now. It's 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 it's, it's cooking to Looney right now. He's got he's got that movement, yeah. So I think that, like Wario isn't exactly like a super fast character, but he's not slow. Yep. So like he's gonna uh, when Snake is like trying to build his wall yep. and everything, you know, Wario because of his aerial aerial mobility, like he might actually have some pretty good. Ins. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, th at least this is a big stage, so Looney can sort of maybe get some distance. But if Wario is standing from that grenade, uh, if Wario stands from that great, th th that like uh, that safe distance, but still within range, he can get in while while Looney's trying to set up. Yeah, um, and not to mention like just like the moves, like he can do that toss up with the nade, but like that's generally a pretty like blind spot, you yep, know? Yep. Because like unless he cooks it from super far, he came in and like super predictable, like. Yep. Coming in from above and front is really, you're in. Okay, we're covering high. Let's see what he lands. Ooh. Wario claps the nade. Um, so Looney brought this, this stock back pretty quickly with like a few grenades and an up smash. Yeah. Um, dead. Down so, throw up tilt. Yeah, Looney opting for the down throw up tilt because he didn't have enough time for down throw up tilt. And he was just like, yeah, you're at the edge. Time to die. But Rishi returning quickly with a, a comeback stock. I love it when a grenade ha uh, snake has grenade, and they're both just kind of sitting there in shield waiting to see who caves. <laughs> um, that's my favorite. So, I mean, snake is gonna play chicken with that every single time. Wow, that stock went out fast. That, that stock just got deleted. So, wow. Um, a few trades in Wario's favor into farting on snake. It doesn't seem like anything's working out for Looney right this right now. Um, Let's see how if he can like you know establish neutral again and sort of get the momentum in his favor, or if Rich is gonna just kind of just kind of garlicky bean fart all over him again. He's clapping him right now. My God! Round of applause. Standing ovation. <laughs> so Waro, it looks like Waro doesn't have too many options for challenging Snake when he recovers high, except for waiting for the landing with like an aerial um, or probably a neutral B. But F tilt not killing. Um, this is looking pretty grim for Rishi. Good back here. Uh, grim for uh, Looney, my bad. Um, do you remember in Brawl uh, how you can trade with uh, Snake Up B with Wario Neutral B and it just kills Snake? Oh, you mean because of poor priority? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a good time. Well, that was great. And he just falls. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love that. Ah. Uh, Poor priority is very special. Yep. It's like, like, it's like it's like one of those things where we would not have figured out that that exists if we didn't like care about the game so much. Yeah. And we grinded it and we, we asked questions like, why is this happening? It became part of the counter pick meta. Like, yeah. it was crazy. Like, you could literally like go down a game and like be like, all right, well, uh, unplug your controller real quick. I'm taking <laughs> that one. RPS me. Yeah. You, RPS for game one port is crazy. Okay, so here we go. Game two. Uh, bringing it to, to camp, campy platform Pokemon Stadium. Um, so this this stage has one of the highest uh, blast zones, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I feel like those platforms on the side have, like, will be pretty good for Snake when he wants to try and, like, pull back, you know? Yep, 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 definitely. It gives him the adequate space to sort of bombard Wario from above. But yeah. Rishi getting a grab into an up air. Uh, as long as Looney doesn't fall into Rishi's vortex, I feel like this might be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now Rishi's just been like on him. Yep. I think he just tried to stick him too, which was a yeah. sneaky one, um, but accidentally reversed it. So we're trading F tilt with snake up tilt. Um, wow. So dash that, attack on the grenade, yeah. Yeah, the dash attack was so active that. He hit his shield first, and then still hit the grenade. So Looney only taking 64% uh, on his first stock right now, and Rishi now on the second. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so trying to get some nares into tilts. Um, not working out. Getting some trades, which Snake loves with the lead. Yeah. Um, you best believe he's going to be mashing that beat, but Rishi does not care. 
Um, Rishi just whacks him off stage with forward smash. Yeah, just duffs his landing. Yep. Uh, this is not out of Rishi's reach at all. Um, a few grabs and a little bit of momentum is all it takes. Uh, but again, his neck cracked right now into half tilt from Looney. Uh, Looney just stacking up that, like damage right now, whether it's a grenade hit or an occasional tilt. Um, it's slowly like more and more getting out of Rishi's reach this time. Um, yeah, we take those. Wow. I'm still it's not good. used to like how fast that thing it's, is. It's really fast. Especially if like they optimize, you know, letting it run horizontally before they really need to tilt it anywhere. Yeah. Um, it's super scary. It's a high speed smash attack. Yeah. Um, good grenade poop into double jump there. Uh, catching him trying to avoid the grenade, I assume. Are the nades still frame one in this game? I don't know. Um, I would call it frame fast, but I wouldn't call it frame one. Okay. Because um, like that that was the OG pooping out nades. Yep. It's like, oh, you. you you tapped me. Yeah. <laughs> well, my hand gravitates. How to embarrassing. Button. Drops a name. <laughs> <laughs> good dash attack. Good up, good up air. Um, so Looney trying to space him out right now, trying to get as much extra credit as possible um, so that he could be careful with the this, this second stock, um, yeah. which is respectable. Um, uh, Wario with the... Uh, with a full whack is very scary. Yeah, Mario has a uh, comeback mechanic yep. built into him. Ah. Run up tilt. That range was crazy. We tried and true. So, Looney taking game two. That, so was, let's see. that was reminiscent of Brawl range. Um, yeah. I, I wonder if Mario threw out fair and maybe um, like moved over his hurt box a bit. Maybe. Um. Well, I mean, let's take a look. <laughs> okay, so let's see, landing. No, he was just he was just, he was just in there. I think he was falling back, which makes it like look more visually jarring than it actually was. But mm -hmm. either way, good up tilt. Um, let's see where we go. We're striking FD and Lilat. Yeah, Rishi really staring at those stages right now, <laughs> right at him. And okay, still not sure. I assume we're going for for a smaller stage. Yeah. All right. We're going to Battlefield. Yep. yep. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, after after large Pokemon Land wasn't working out. Is this that? So like you have all this movement that Wario can take advantage of with like multiple with multi-dimensional movement uh, yep. on the platforms, which is great for mix-ups. But you know you know but. Battlefield may not have as big a blast zones as it did in Smash 4, but it's still Battlefield. And, like, Snake is going to have, like, so many different ways to, like, mix up his landing uh, by going through the platforms and picking up the nade after the platform. True. And, uh, or just, like, when he's, like, B-reversing, he will just, like, land on anything that he wants or, like, thread the needle and yep. go in between. Yep, yep, yep. He has a lot more landing options. Um, Wario, on the other hand, having some more offensive options with uh, neutral B on the platform, which we saw from Rishi just there, mm -hmm. um, catching the shield. That's, that was good. Um, so it looks like he's trying to just, like, you know, leave Snake within that healthy range for Wario, uh, keep him spooked in shield where he can't really set up anything, um, and just hit, just peck him with aerials because um, when Snake has the lead, you don't want to trade too much. So yeah. Rishi's going to try getting a lead before doing anything reckless, I'd imagine. Even if you're even, you don't want to trade him. Mm -hmm. Although, I guess, like, Wario is a pretty heavy character. So yeah. he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll trade. I'm a big boy, too. You're going to see that, like, uh, Looney's going to be favoring not so much, like, dead straight stage center, but, like, under the platforms. Yep, yep. That's because, a safe distance, yeah. Yeah, it's going to cover his blind spot, you know, being up and, above, up and forward. And so he'll just be like, oh, if you want to come in, you're going to have to hold down, and now you're in front of me. So it's a lot more manageable. Rishi being very patient there, um, standing a good distance away, and then finding a good time to throw in a fair to get him off stage, which was good. Um, good F tilt. Maybe um, Looney was getting a little bit reckless there, maybe a little bit antsy, just decided to go in for the offensive option. Yeah. Um, and now he's getting his booty clapped right now. So uh, he's not there. Um, we got some momentum on Richie's favor right now. Uh, let's see if Looney can close out this stock incoming. We're gonna snap his neck, uh, no follow up. As long as um, Rishi doesn't get any like any bit too reckless where he runs into an up tilt, he can afford to be. Oh, Ooh. that was good. Yeah, definitely. I really didn't see that coming. Uh, I do like the way that he was like pulling back and really like 
baiting him to go in, and it was just like, <laughs> I have this invincible move yep. that you completely forgot about. But Nikita, Mario jumping right into it, so Looney. Wow, wow, oh god. What is happening? So, um, oh my goodness, we ate the grenade and the explosion hit Snake, so there's a lot of, this is a circus right now, you guys. Um, please bear with us. Uh, <laughs> well, Rishi heals up a bit. Um, throwing Snake out of danger <laughs> to take the nade. That part was ridiculous. Um, so, Looney at 112, uh, last stock. Uh, not yeah. impossible for Snake, but Wario can be very, you know, consistent with the sort of hitting you off stage, especially when you're at late for sense. Mm -hmm. um, so, he just needs to be a little careful. We're on the pl top platform. I'm scared. Are you? Uh, apparently not, because now we're both at the bottom. Um, <coughs> Rishi near 100, uh, a tilt will kill at some point. I feel like the only way that Lumi's going to be able to bring this back is that if he's able... Oh, my God. I don't know anymore. That up to the spooky. What do we got? Grab, forward throw. Is that going to kill? No. We're going to clap take. Good landing on the platform. Good neutral B, man. This battlefield pit... What? Really? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What's... Oh, my God. I keep forgetting about that. Why does it do that? I wonder if he held north. You think he held north? Damn, that knockback. That's that's nuts. That was some. That was goofy. Oh, hey, thanks, Pat. I think I saw it go by some pho, you filthy animals. Is that what that was? I, I agree I, completely. I um, think so. But thank you, Pat. That money goes directly into my pocket. <laughs> um, my pho pocket. Uh, but yeah, good stuff to Rishi. Um, good set. I, I actually forgot that was game three. Yeah. Until, until I uh, until halfway through that last game. But um, good stuff. Getting the stage the the stage advantage for game three and then securing it on battlefield.